Health inequality is a national and local issue. It affects the people who live in the Rochdale Borough and it touches all of us working in health and social care. So what does health inequality mean? Health inequalities are the health differences that occur between people or groups of people due to their social, geographical, biological or other factors such as work, education, housing and access to services. These differences have a huge impact because it is the people who are worst off who often experience poorer health and live shorter lives. Some things are fixed, such as age, gender, ethnicity and having a family history of a particular disease. But we know that some things can be changed and we can positively influence that change. These are things that can be improved and that's where you come in. Health inequalities, poorer health and how long you live for differs depending on where you live in England and also where you live in our borough. For example, men living in our more deprived communities in the borough can die 10 years earlier and women six and a half years earlier compared to those living just around the corner in neighbouring communities. They also experience fewer years living in good health. Do you think that's fair? There are thousands of people living in our communities who are experiencing poor health at a younger age, coping with illness and disability and unable to live the full and prosperous lives they deserve. Do you think that's fair? So what factors are contributing to people in our communities dying earlier than the rest of the UK? Why is there such variation within our own borough of Rochdale? As an example, we believe that around 1 in 10 adults have high blood pressure in the borough and don't know about it. High blood pressure massively increases risks of stroke and heart attacks. Collectively, we need to find the people at risk of high blood pressure so that we can encourage them to visit their GP. Secondly, people may not attend for cancer screening when they're invited or may ignore the early warning signs of cancer. Can we do more to promote cancer screening in our most deprived communities? Do we talk to the people about seeking help if they have a worrying symptom? And what about this? One in ten of our children are already obese when they enter primary school. This doubles to one in five children by year six. Are we doing everything we can to encourage better diets for families and more physical activity? Does it matter? Well, yes. Being very overweight as a child means that you are more likely to be overweight as an adult. This means there is a higher chance of developing serious health problems such as diabetes at a younger age. Diabetes on its own is a very serious health condition, but it can lead to other complications and a lifetime of need and health care. Alcohol related illnesses and long term conditions such as diabetes are increasing amongst our adult population year on year. More cases of cancer are being discovered and too often many are diagnosed too late. The NHS provides a great service to people but the demands on the services are increasing. We all want great services when we need them but we also want to enjoy freedom from ill health for much of our lives. Together, we can all support each other to be healthier for longer. Is there a different way for the Rochdale Borough? Can we pull out all the stops and do something different together? There is a call for radical change in how health and social care is delivered. This agenda is moving at pace. As families, as a council, as housing associations, as community centres, as a voluntary sector, we all have our part to play in helping to keep people healthier for longer. We all need to sign up to changing this cycle of early poor health in Rochdale Borough. We know from the local statistics and through daily interactions with our communities, more and more people are experiencing life-changing illnesses, illnesses which often can be prevented. This means years of living with poor health and trying to cope with medication managing the condition and the changes it brings to their daily lives. This impacts on them, their families, carers and the health and social care system. Many people who die younger are in and out of hospital, visiting A&E and becoming reliant on social care services. This puts tremendous pressure on the system and puts families and individuals under massive strain too. In their final years, how many times do they have to attend hospital? How many times will they miss out on family events and social occasions? We're not placing blame here, we're presenting a picture. 
We know there are factors that are out of individual and communities' hands, but we also know we can do more together. We can work towards giving people years of life back. This is a call to action. With everyone committed and working together, we can make a difference. It starts with you, your colleagues, your families and friends, through to your patients and their families and friends. We don't have to accept this picture. It doesn't have to be this way. Together we can start to break the cycle of shorter lives in Rochdale Borough and help people to get the lost years of their lives back. Isn't it our responsibility? We need you to think differently, work together, don't be afraid to fail and learn from others. It is our responsibility to the communities of the Rochdale Borough to do everything we can. Preventing ill health is key. Did you know that only 15% of health outcomes are delivered through the NHS? Everyone has such a big stake in supporting prevention. If we work together and play our part, we can positively influence health choices and decisions at every opportunity. Pointing people in the right direction, encouraging them to attend screening, supporting them to quit smoking, supporting people who drink too much alcohol, encouraging people to get their blood pressure checked and encouraging them to attend for health checks. We can make a difference. We can all do something. Let's help empower our communities to look at their lives with us and not to accept that this is their lot. Yes, it will be drip, drip, drip. And yes, the changes may be small at first. But once we scale these changes up across the borough, we will start to see and experience the difference we are making. It is vitally important that we collectively take action today to build a better future for our generation and for the generation of tomorrow.